Hi everyone, welcome back. Or if you're new, my name's Desley. I'm obsessed with uh, planners, journals, particularly Hobonichi, also Kiki K, stationery in general, pink things. <laughs> um, it's a long list, but that covers most of it, I think. So I'm here today to walk you through my 2022 lineup. So I shall clear this off and we'll discuss what's being used for what. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, that was a lot of planners, right? <laughs> so let's go through them. First up, we have my Hobonichi Weeks. This is my everyday planner, and uh, as you can see, it's in this beautiful tweed cover. It's called Rainbow Tweed, and it's from a shop on Etsy called Sakura Handcraft design and I have this um, Hobonichi uh, rivet band holding it together and a little charm here from a shop in Melbourne, shop in Australia sorry, called That's Fantastic with a little no face charm. I'm currently using my Pilot High Tech C in here because I love this pen and in here I have my Hobonichi Weeks in the peach and just a little bit of deco. So I'm not going to go through great detail in each planner because I have set up videos for all of them. So I don't think there's much point, but I can link each of the setup videos in the description for you should you wish to take a look. So as I said, it's my everyday planner. I'll just skip to a spread to show you. So for the monthly, I'm keeping it fairly um, simple. Just some washi. Um, January is a good one to show you. Just some washi and then the main things that are happening in the month, nothing too much. If I'm on leave, for example, I've got a list across, uh, of washi across here and uh, here as well. I've put in birthdays and big appointments and the same here in February, although there's not a lot happening in February. But in terms of the weekly spreads, Okay, so here's an example of a week that um, I've set up and how I've used it. I've just done some journaling. If I have appointments, I'll put them in here as well. Uh, like here, a flight back to Melbourne. Um, so just some journaling about the week. Um, and then on this side, I was using it for a to-do list, um, which I have on other weeks. But this time, I just put a quote from my tiny baby cousin who told me that she loves me and nobody else. So <laughs> that was pretty cute. Um, uh, otherwise, yeah, this is just simply for journaling and keeping track of appointments that are happening. Nothing else so far. And I think even in the notes section, I don't have anything yet. I've just got a list here of the videos that I want to film. Um, and I'll continue that in there. And I'm just wondering if I've got anything right at the back. No, I haven't yet. So no um, real plans for this back except to just take notes when I'm sitting on the couch, you know. That's kind of the plan for this particular um, weeks. I have my pencil board in here as well um, because it's a cute little Doraemon one. Okay, so that's my Hobonichi Weeks, which is my everyday planner. <clears throat> okay, so let's talk journaling because this pile is my favourite of all of them. These are my journals. Why do I need three journals, you ask? Um, so on top here is my five-year journal. This is in the Blossom gift pack cover, which is just beautiful. And the journal starts in 2021. So it is covering 21 through 2025. Um, and no deco in this planner at all. Uh, this journal, I should say, at all. What I will show you, though, is how I'm using it. So basically, I'm recording, actually interesting, I guess, I'm recording the number of active COVID cases for the, for the day, like how many there are in total. I'm recording the top and bottom temperature for the city that I'm in. And if I was in a different city, I would record that temperature. Uh, a little bit about what happened on the day. And then on the right hand side, I'm using the Merriam-Webster um, Instagram feed. They give us a word a day. And I'm just kind of lettering it and then putting the, um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> and the meaning of the word as well. I can't remember what I'm trying to say there. So I'm a little bit behind in here. Like I've done, if I just give you a flip, you'll see some words start starting to appear, hopefully. 
maybe I'll flip it this way. So I've got some words appearing there. Um, I did a pretty good job, but then I fell off the wagon a few times. So I need to catch up, but it's kind of something that I'm happy to do just when I'm, um, you know, feeling bored, but don't want anything too taxing to do. Uh, and one of the reasons I journal in my weeks, just a little snippet of journaling, is so that I can use that um, information to pull into these other journals if I am behind, which obviously I am at the moment. In here I'm using the three colour um, Hobonichi Techo pen from 2019. It's the pretty pink one and um, I do have the pencil board that came with the Blossom kit as well, pack as well. And for lettering I'm tending to use this uh, Tombow brush pen but I think I will change up the colour for 2022. I haven't actually started in 2022 yet. So I've done black for 2021. For 22, I might use a different colour for lettering. Just for fun. Nothing dramatic there. All right. This one is my Rose Tweed A6 cover from Malia Kent range in at Hobonichi. And this was a 2020, 2021 release for 2022. Um, I, if you didn't know, I'm sure you know if you've watched anything of mine, that I absolutely adore this journal so, so much. This cover in particular, so, so much. So in here, I've made this a little bit fun for me because uh, this is the style of decorating that I really enjoy. I mean, I, I enjoy a lot of different styles of decorating, but this in particular makes me happy. So I've got my washi dash, a few deco items there in the pocket. Again, there's a setup video. Uh, no deco here yet, but I do have um, a kit that's arrived that I can use. In here I'm tracking some things that I want to track and I'm using this mild liner to mark those off. And then in the monthly section, which is one of my favourite sections, December I didn't, I just decorated for fun, but that's all. But in the monthly section I'm just using an emoji a day from the Coffee Monsters Co. Because why not? Um, it's a nice way to use your character stickers without using them all uh, and it kind of just gives you an, o I an idea of how your day was. Like this one, I'm okay I guess, it was a pretty rough day I remember. Uh, it was a very rough day actually. And you know, couch potato here, I did filming and photography here so I had a friend over for this one. So you can kind of see that, we, that I've um, used an emoji that is useful for the day. So then for the actual dailies, what I'm doing is just using one of the Coffee Monsters Co. calendars here on the left page and on the right page I'm just journaling. I'm doing a little deco with these, with whatever actually, and everything is a bit different in here. I even have um, one where I've, where I've put in a business card from one of the shops that I bought from, Pe from Hello Pepper Cat for example. Um, sometimes I just pre-decorate and what I'm also doing is I'm doing a little bit of lettering here uh, on every page just a call out for whatever was the biggest thing for the day so that while well, I was actually starting to feel better finally from having pneumonia um, so I have done a little bit of deco I can show you um, for the week for the week side of the 24th of January which was last week so I've just done a little bit of deco here. Um, I did some watercolour and stamping here on the weekend. This was a girls weekend away, which was really great fun uh, to sit down and do this. And then um, the road trip home again. And then here is February. And I just did a quick setup for um, the first, second and third of Feb just to get us going. So that's pretty much it for this planner. Um, I have the Doraemon um, pencil board in here as well and a washi dashboard at the back too just for fun so that's my everyday journal I love this thing so much and uh, yeah I tend to do journaling in here maybe twice a week um, but definitely at least once a week so I will be um, popping back into this one tonight and then last of the journals uh, is my A5 uh, Ohio cover from Hobonichi. This is such a beautiful, beautiful planner. I think it's very stylish. It's quite um, 
it could be quite professional looking if you wanted to use it as a work planner it's a zip around as well just like the rose tweed was but then this one is my commonplace book and I'll we'll just take this out it was just um, protecting something from drying so uh, I've lined the inside this is a Hobonichi notebook so it's the A5 notebook, it's the one that has the yellow cover and I've just lined the inside, end, the end papers basically with this, um, like a rice paper I've just got the off cuts here it's really lovely paper, it's actually a bit thicker than rice paper um, it's a very lovely paper and as you can hopefully see it's gold foiled, it's Sakura um, blossoms. There's a again a setup video for this where I walk you through the whole process of this even tearing this beautiful card that I picked up on a trip in Amsterdam uh, and I've had the, the card since I think 2019 and I finally committed to tearing it and <laughs> to put it into here. I've also lined the back papers as well you can see there uh, and I've got the word magic there which was my word of the year for last year and I kind of want to keep using it a little bit this year um, although it's not my actual word I have this cute little um, charm here that my friend Trish made out of washi paper that she made and at the moment my bookmarks are not being used but that's because I was um, the pages were wet so I'll probably pop, pop them back in shortly I'll give you a quick flip of this one because it hasn't really been shown much so far this was my um, pink Christmas sticker collage that I did absolutely loved it and then my friend Trish was inspired to make me this Christmas card um, using the same technique and I just thought I would stick it in there right next to it so we, I could see them both together it's just they're just so pretty I love love love, love them then I just have um, some pen swatching that I did here on this page I'll probably just stick something there like some ephemera or something that I get in a package or whatever um, yeah these are my new sign pens from Pentel and then I've actually stuck another page which had a couple of swatches on it um, behind there because um, I tore the page, it's a long story but um, I've just done a yellow one on the weekend so I'm trying to do one per month so the pink one was Christmas so it was December and this is my January one I decided to go with yellow and I really love how it turned out so vibrant and fun and I've just got this Marshmallow Studio um, die cut here on the left to announce the beginning of 2022 so yeah this one I did put some words in I had these um, OMFG and YOLO stickers from oh I can't even remember the shop name now I've just forgotten and, and uh, anyway I've had them since maybe 2017 they're so old and I've not used them so I thought this is a good spot to use them um, and then these gorgeous little Korean stickers that my friend Denise gave me and I've got some little jewels gems these enamel hearts um, some Coffee Monsters Co, some Sakura Mochi Design Co, some um, Pumpkin Paper Co, some Lovely Mine, there's all sorts of, of um, uh, Lime and Mortar, there's all sorts of stickers on here. So much fun. So I just went through my all of my um, stickers and found every sheet that has something yellow and popped those in here. Now the next page is a bit of an experiment, so don't judge me on how, how hideous it looks. But I just wanted to do some watercolour stripes and then a stamp on them. I just wanted to see how the stamping looked on them and, you know, it, it turned out pretty cool. But then I went a bit nuts on the stamping of these little uh, icons as well and I just think it went, a, it went a bit out of hand. And it bled through the page as expected so I had to stick a few pages together and I didn't use the right glue so it's gone a bit wrinkly which annoys me a lot um, but it is what it is accept it and move on I say it's just this is my commonplace book it's a place to have fun try things out and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't it's the experiment that I'm here for uh, and things that do work in here I'll transfer to my other journal you know I'll be able to use them in that so speaking of something that did work I absolutely love this on the girls weekend Trish had some black paper and I had just bought from her her shop is called Hobby Hoppers 
I just bought these Sakura Jelly Roll Moonlight pens. Look at how vibrant they are. And that vibrancy then comes across on the page. This one here is um, souffle, not, it's a souffle pen, not a moonlight pen, but the rest are moonlight. And look how bright they are. I just decided to do a different pattern with each color. I kind of just drew the white bits on first and then, um, you know, an outline, and then I just decided a different pattern per pen. I used the same pink pen twice accidentally, but again, I don't care. It picks my favorite color, so who cares? And at the end, I just went over the white again just to make sure it stood out, and then I just stuck it in with some grid washi, also from Hobby Hoppers. So this whole page here is from Hobby Hoppers. Um, and yeah, I love how it turned out. It's super cute. On this side, um, these are watercolors from... Paul Rubens and then the Paul Rubens uh, pearlescent colors and the stamps are all from um, Kelly stamps. Just added a few bits and pieces from Ali Edwards and some washi from um, Hobby Hoppers and Hobonichi and called it done. I stuck the pages down as I said, made a bit of a mess in doing so, but again who cares, This that's what the book is for. So I have this whole book here to play with for the year, let's see if I can fill it up over the course of 2022. So those are my journals for 2022. Okay, let's move on to work. So for work I have three, I'm gonna say three books, if you can see them here. And let's have a look at them individually. I think the first one is pretty self-explanatory. This is my Hobonichi cousin. I absolutely adore the cousin. I'm just using the Hobonichi pen from 2022 um, in this book because it does have three colors, which is always quite helpful for color coding at work. And in here I have, again, a setup video is already up, but I have just a few bits and pieces. Oh, I need to change out my card to February. Sticky notes, my business cards, and some other sticky notes. It's a page, page flags, I should say. Uh, I've marked my paydays in here with the pink dots uh, and then the monthly spread I'm just putting in the big meetings of the month a little bit of deco just for fun from this is from every minute of story and yeah just a little bit of deck um, sorry just uh, the big meetings that are happening in the month so that's how I'm using the monthlies and then for the weeklies yeah I can show you this one this piece of paper flies with me from, from page to page. It lists the color coding that I'm using and I'm just doing that to see how I'm spending my day. So I had holidays actually from Wednesday through Friday so it's only these two days that counted and I haven't, I've only filled in the meetings here. I haven't filled in um, like the work that I did in the other times. So normally this would be filled out with quite a bit more color coding. But that's the plan for how I'm using this. I have a note section at the bottom um, and a this week section here on the left and because I don't use Saturday and Sunday because it's a work planner I have a column for emails and a column for calls and down here I have a next week section but my plan for 2022 was to use the daily planning section properly but I don't think I can show you actually it's quite um yeah, I, I can't show you the daily section, but let me show you a blank spread and walk you through the plan. So basically, um, I put my timetable here, the things that I, the meetings, and those are from that weekly spread. Uh, at the top here, I put either two or three, sometimes five, but usually three uh, things that I want to focus on that day or that have to be done that day. I then use from 6 p.m., onwards this whole section for meeting notes and if the meeting carries over then I go back to like I didn't use this planner for uh, the first couple of weeks of January so I actually go back to the beginning of January and reference on the page where the notes carry on so it's like a threading system to take you back to where the notes continue um, and then this this section here, so a timetable here, notes here, there's still a section here. So in my meetings, I'm taking my meeting notes in black pen, but in red pen, as the meeting is going on, I'm putting my action items up here in red. So that when I do my review each day, it's easy for me to see those action items and pop them into the planner for the next day. 
anyway that's probably too much information because as I said there's a setup video that walks you through all that but uh, I'm kind of just getting used to it now uh, that process so I just wanted to mention it right now with you so that is my work planner so also for work I have two ring bound planners and while they are technical technically planners uh, they're, I'm using them as reference information and binders um, at this point. So, again, there is a setup video for this planner slash binder um, on my channel, and I'll link everything below. So, some deco here uh, from May Paper Co. and other and my own shop as well. These blue bubbles. I have a goals dashboard here from May Paper Co. as well, and I, then I've made these dashboards in between. Uh, unfortunately since this is work I can't actually show you inside of it but it's just um, well I've got the strategy section here at the front so that is our company strategy. I've actually just printed it onto A5 paper and punched it straight in so maybe I can show you the front. So here's our strategic plan um, which actually I made um, the plan in, in InDesign so I've printed it on A5 and um, popped it in here directly and then in the second section I have this one that's called my plans and these are the like KPIs that my team I have a Marcom section here which is um, for marketing and communications so in here we keep all of our plans for marketing activities we want to run and promotions and things like that um, as well as uh, any details around our brand guidelines our tone of voice all that kind of thing and then lastly at the back I have the analytics section where we're keeping all of the analytics for our campaigns social media all that kind of stuff and then finally right in the back I have um, just a notepad this is from May Paper Co it's very thick but I don't have a lot in this planner so it doesn't really bulk it up um, subject date line section and a grid section I just really love this notepad and I thought it would be quite handy to keep in there so that's my what I call my strategy binder, and it's a Kiki K A5 um, ice blue perforated is the name of the planner, and it's the very first planner I ever purchased from Kiki K. So it holds a very special place in my heart, and our branding is blue, blue and orange. So I thought it was a nice one to have for um, for work, and also it matches this very very nicely. And then the other work binder that I have is a Filofax A5 patent rose in the original. And the outside is very, you know, fancy and nice and pretty. But the inside is just me, me on a plate. <laughs> so in here I have my Sarasa dry pen, just a little bit of deco here. I like to put some acetate under the rings just to protect them. And, and this is my staff binder. So I'm not going to open this up, but I'll just show you through the tabs. These are Kiki K tabs. They came out with um, seven side tabs and four top tabs at exactly the time, same time that I needed 11 tabs. So it worked out very nicely. So I have each of my states here across the top. So I have a different account manager looking after each one. So um, I have to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with each of my account managers. And also it's good to have the territories split up um, in terms of notes so I can find them very easily. So that's how I have those and inside is just dot grid paper and then I just have this bit of um, vellum that I made here um, separating and then at the end I have marketing comms and then two customer care specialists as well. So that's the 11 people who uh, report to me and I keep all the details about them in here. So together with these two, that makes up my work, my work planning system. Okay, so that's daily uh, journaling work, and now let's move on to health. Here's my health planner, uh, my health tracking system. So uh, again, a video about these up on my channel already. This is the Mina Bohonan Manamo fabric cover for, for my Hobonichi Weeks and it is a beautiful cover 
and it has this lovely pink leather interior and in here I have my um, Wasoy um, Weeks which is the bow and tie for, for this year, one of the bow and ties for this year. I have a little charm here from the Coffee Monsters Co and an Ollie clip and in here um, it, it's pretty much brand new to me so it, I haven't set it up yet but in here what I will be doing is recording any big events that are happening in the health area as in appointments that I have to go to and then in this section in the weeklies I plan to record anything that's health related here like if I haven't slept well if I feel sick if I've got a migraine um, you know, whatever health ailments there might be, periods, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to record blood pressure in this box column here and then on the side here just any notes that didn't fit over here because I will also put appointments here as well. So we'll see how that maps out over time. This um, cover does have card slots at the back as well so you can use this as a wallet and I have my Uni 1 pen in here. Um, which is a very nice pen I have to say. So that's the planner that I will take with me to appointments. I'll be recording notes in here as well. Actually that's what I should have said. Um, on that weekly section I'll be putting notes in or maybe even at the back in the notes section. I haven't quite decided because I haven't had a chance to take this to the doctor yet. But alongside of that I have another Kiki K binder and this is the a Little Luxury. It's a Saffiano leather, uh, real leather. Kiki K planners are really real leather unless they tell you otherwise. Uh, and this is a beautiful planner that I have set up with almost exclusively Powder World um, stuff. Also this May Paper Co. Um, vellum on the front here and this pocket is one of my own. In the pocket I keep um, what are they called? Prescriptions for tablets or whatever. And then again I won't walk you through in great detail but I'll just tell you the sections. The first is, is an inbox section so just notes. Uh, the next section is a calendar section. After that I have these doctor's visits um, inserts from my paper co. In the next section I have a medicine tracker, then I have the health log, I have contacts list, and then lastly I just have these ruled notes pages as well. And then right in the back I have punched in any letters or referrals or things like that that I needed to keep in here. In the very back there's the notepad that came with the planner and I have my mild liner brush pen in here in grey just, just because, no particular reason. So that makes up my health section for 2022. I've not had any kind of health planner before. This is the first one that I've had, um, or health system I guess you could say. Uh, there's a few things I need to take care of this year so I thought it would be cool and fun. You know, that's the only reason because I love this stuff. Um, that it might motivate me to actually do the things that I need to do. Okay, we're nearly there. A couple more to show you. Um, let's do this one just because it's fun. <laughs> this is my super cute little Doraemon cover. He was a very last minute addition to my um, cart uh, when I put the main order in from Hobonichi. You know, um, my uh, Tweed, the beautiful tweed journal cover the Mali Kent one was uh, it took about I think six weeks or something to ship so my cart remained open and I could just keep adding to it so that proved to be a bit of a problem anyway I added this one last and it's such a cute planner really really love it so this is a book that's going to stay at home and I'm not really writing in it so and I'll explain more in a minute but I thought well, if I'm not using pens why don't I use my slice tool and my favourite tweezers. Um, this is just a slice tool that I've added some Marshmallow Studio stickers, um, washi too, just to make it pretty. And these are my Luscious Labels Rainbow Tweezers. And the reason I've chosen these two tools to put in here is because this is my washi swatch book. So if you didn't know, I have tons and tons of washi and a lot of it is character washi. So I decided that I wanted to swatch them in a swatch book. And I was inspired by my friend Anna Jolene on YouTube 
who has who is doing something similar with the washi that she purchases as she purchases it she puts it in here um, but I'm gonna just do my whole collection at least the character stuff you know the things that have come are hand drawn or whatever um, I have a little washi cutter in the back here from Fox and Cactus as well so I thought I would just put all things that's kind of related to washi in here and one of those is uh, the slice tool that allows you to chop up your washi and tweezers which I always find helpful when dealing with washi tape if I'm trying to get it up again or something and also how cool is it to always know where it is stored <laughs> I know they should be in a pencil case but um, I'm a slacker at, for that I'm always looking for my slice tool so I was I, I just thought it was a brilliant idea to put them in in this book okay so last up I have my two learning tools and look how pretty these are together. I absolutely adore this color. This lilac color, this pinky lilac is my all-time favorite. So I'll start with this one, I think. It makes a bit more sense to me to start with this one. This is my Marshmallow A5 Herbonichi cover. And I have on it the Eric um, cover on cover. And the two pens I have in here is a, are uh, this pink mild liner because why not and I have this high tech C pen again I had the black one in my weeks um, this is a pink barrel and I've taken the pink ink out and put the black ink in here just because I wanted a pink pen with this planner and I wanted this pen because I love this pen it's just writes so beautifully so inside here I have just put some sticky notes and some washi tape and these little page flags as well as this bookmark. Very minimal decorating and that's it. So you can see this is a Midori notebook and what this planner is for or notebook is for is simply to take notes for the classes that I wanted to do this year. I'm really keen to do some stuff on Skillshare, some stuff around um, video editing and some other things. I'd like to learn Japanese again. I, I learned it when I was younger, so I, I'm really keen to maybe have another go at that. Um, and I'm in a couple of um, subscription classes as well for, um, for social media marketing and things like that. So I've already taken some notes on that in my old cousin, and so I have now got this new beautiful planner in which to... Um, dive in and learn some more so I'm going to put all my notes for that in here that's study number one study number two is this gorgeous lilac leather planner and this is the very last one in my lineup to show you I, I feel like I'm missing something but I think this is it um, in here I have my Lamy Safari pen this has the extra fine nib and it's the beautiful pastel pink and I absolutely love how this is set up it's probably my favorite of all of the setups and it's so simple and minimal I just I just love it it's so pretty and at the back I have this words matter sticker from Ellie Edwards I have some little phrase stickers here also from Ellie Edwards and this die cut which goes with this one for both from the powder world so this is a Hobonichi A6 notebook and I'm going to use this one uh, I've talked about this a fair bit because I'm passionate about it. Uh, I love Ellie Edwards and I love her classes. I love the people she gets involved. I love the way she she confronts the things that she's teaching us and how she forces us to confront the things that we want to change. I think she's a phenomenal person. Um, but what I find with her classes is that I get so overwhelmed by all the ephemera that I buy <laughs> from her beautiful website and I've got a ton of it um, and then I want to decorate everything and set everything up and make it all look beautiful as part of the prompts but then I often find I'd love to do that on camera and or I don't have time to do it there's not enough light to do it or whatever and that barrier to actually getting to doing the actual work for the prompts I find is is too high I if I take away all the decorating all the ephemera all the beautiful plastic hearts and gorgeous colors and I just focus on the work on the words uh, the, on the words I think that's going to make it so much easier for me to actually commit to doing the work because really I can do that on the couch right I can um, watch the videos that 
the classes that, that she puts up and I can just have a think and answer the prompts myself. And if I want to decorate in here, I can. Like I'm not, I'm not opposed to decorating in here. I probably will because let's face it, that's who I am. <laughs> but it will be after the fact rather than um, as part of the process of doing the work. I think that's what I want to do. I was super keen to just give that a go anyway. How this all started was I bought all the covers because I love the covers and I thought I'll just switch in and out of them. But when I actually got them in my hands, I thought, oh my goodness, I really just have to use them. They're, they're just too beautiful not to use. So let's bring everything back into frame so we can have a quick look. I'll zoom out so we can see everything at once. We've got the health planner system on the left there. We have the learning system here in the lilac. And we have the just for fun washi swatch book because why not? We have the work planners, work binders and planners. And then we have the journaling stack as well. I almost can't fit everything in here in the frame. The journaling stack at the top here. And then of course we have my everyday carry, which is the Hobonichi Weeks. So there we have it. I haven't counted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 planners slash journals slash notebooks to take me into 2022. Uh, and already I'm finding them super useful. Now the important thing is that I don't have multiple calendars going at once. Like for, I don't want to put all of my events in all of my calendars. I only have specific you know, doctor's appointments will go in this one. They'll go in here as well, but much less information. Uh, I'm not putting work appointments in here unless they are full day events where I know I won't be able to do anything else because of all the work. Um, and in the work planner, there aren't, there's no personal stuff at all. So the journaling is the fun place. And I haven't got started on these learning things yet. But I think this is where I'm really going to thrive in 2022 is with these two books here. I can't wait. That's why I made them the lilac ones because they're my favorite color. And I just can't, just can't wait. There are a couple of other planners on my shelf that I haven't included here. The other Kiki K ones. I have a um, Paris travel planner. So I would love to one day get back to Paris. And so I set up a planner to go through uh, a place to just store information about places I want to visit, places I could stay. Um, I would, I also know French, but I have probably forgotten a fair bit of it. So I'd like to do a refresher in French. So there's a place in there for uh, learning as well, all sorts of things like that. And I do have another planner set up for my social media. Um, I'm not sure about that one. I'm finding it a bit difficult to keep going back to it, but uh, so I'm thinking it might end up in here in my weeks um, just because I always have this with me and it might just make more sense for me to record that in here. At the moment I've been recording my health stuff in here because I, this planner has only just arrived. So I was recording my health stuff in here so I didn't have space to include um, social media stats as well. So now that I have the space I may move social media into here rather than in that planner that it's in. I think that's the only other planner that's really set up for use. Uh, there's many others that I'd love to incorporate just because they're so beautiful. Uh, and I have a lot in B6 um, and personal size as well as the A5. So who knows what will happen throughout the year. I also have two books on the way, two mm, plannery type <laughs> things on their way to me, as well as two books as well. So. Uh, stay tuned for more things coming. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use those or where I'll fit them in. But there were just a couple of things that I really had to have, <laughs> of course. Um, <laughs> please don't judge me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, stay tuned for those. I think, I think um, that will be good fun. Okay, so what you can expect from me over the next, uh, well, the rest of the year really is... A flip throughs of these as we go where I can show you. I'd love to do some pre-decorating in this journal to show you any cool things that I want to try out in my commonplace book. I will show you. Um, I will show you how these end up looking, the study planners, because they're going to be scribble, I think, but it wouldn't hurt just to show you what goes on in those. Uh, I think this one will be neater because I kind of want to keep it as a as a 
keepsake of the um, work that I've done for those particular classes. And the washi book I will show you, I may even just do some time lapses of washi because sometimes that's just nice to watch with music going. The health stuff, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens in there, whether it's useful. But please um, let me know what it is that you'd like to see out of all this. Is there anything in this video that you've thought was of interest to you that you haven't thought of before or you'd like more information about? I would really love to hear from you. Um, I know I know this is excessive and this is a lot of planners. Uh, I, I know I'm not alone in that as well. There are a lot of people out there like, like me. <laughs> Please tell me if you're one of them. Uh, and I have no issue with people who use one book for everything. I think that is actually pretty darn cool to be able to do that. For my brain though, I like to separate. I also definitely want work to be separate because I take these with, if I ever get back to the office, I will take these with me and they will probably stay in the office. These two would stay in the office for the week at least and this one would probably come home with me. But you know, it's very separate. My job is a very, very big part of my life and it's a very uh, time consuming part of my life. So it really needs its own spot, but also separate to that, I want to be able to break away from it and have the fun. So then that's when these come in. They allow me just that escape, that creativity, the deco, uh, the lettering, all that kind of stuff in here. And I think that is really what helps me relax and helps me um, move on from all this heavy stuff. This stuff is great. I absolutely love my job, but it is a lot. So to be able to separate myself from it by doing something like this, brilliant. The classes, I'm, I'm very keen to get started on. And I think I've said in a previous video, I've been procrastinating about doing them because I said I had to get these set up first, but they're set up now, so there's no excuse. And it's already February. I need to get moving or I'm gonna be too far behind. Um, washi's just for fun. This is my lifeline. I use it every single day. I absolutely love it. Um, I might look at some other covers. This is a very wintry cover I'm, and it's lovely, but I feel a little bit like I might want to branch out into something different. So stay tuned to see what happens there. I'll definitely keep it though, because I will use it for other, for other months of the year. And then the health stuff is just, it has to happen. So it's going to happen. So that's it. That's it from me. That is my lineup. I know you guys have been asking me what I'm using for a while now. Um, and you've seen all of the setups for each video, for each uh, planner anyway. So you know what I've been using, but I've really wanted to put it all together into one video so we could see everything together and really understand what's happening. The other thing is all of this needs to go on my bookshelves. At the moment, there's not room for any of it. So I need to do a bookshelf um, rearrangement and then we'll do a bookshelf tour as well, a planner shelf tour as well. So I'm super keen to do that because I really want to be able to have much better access to this stuff than I already do. At the moment, it's uh, I have to just pack them away in the bedroom when I'm not using them because there's not really any space um, in my planner shelf for them. So they'll be added uh, hopefully this weekend. I think that's my plan for this week and this weekend is to get that all set up. So I'm actually going to film a little reel of the uh, transformation of the planner shelf, but um, I have also promised to do a walkthrough for you. So I will, that's going to be difficult to do, I suspect, but I will do it for you uh, because I've been asked by so many of you to do so. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to stop talking now. Thank you so, so much for watching, especially if you've made it all the way to the end. As I said before, please let me know what you think of my crazy lineup of 12 planners, journals and notebooks for the new year. Um, and let me know if you have a similar collection or if any of the planners that we're using are the same or we're using them for the same things. Uh, I'm keen to hear what you what you think. Um, do you do this with your work stuff? Have a planner and then some binders? I find this super helpful way to do it. Um, three journals, I thought other people have been doing, I've seen them with three or four journals and I think, why do you need so many? But now I know why. It makes perfect sense to me to have these the way they are. And I'm not going to go through the rest again because you've already heard it. So I'll stop talking now and I'll say thanks again. I really appreciate you coming by and watching my videos. It really does mean the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed, 
um, and you'd like to see more Hobonichi content, more Kiki K content, and just how I'm using these planners and the different things I'll try in them, as well as some deco and some hauls, please, please consider subscribing and sticking around. I'd love to have you in the little community. Okay, guys, that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all again super, super soon. Bye.